Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. This video is an exciting collaboration with the incredible Petra and Sherry and also Molds and Shapes. We're all going to be using exactly the same bauble mold and Molds and Shapes have supported us by running a giveaway on all of our channels. So excited, let's go. <music> The theme for the baubles in this video, you would have already seen the thumbnail, is going to be candy. Candy canes, they're so pretty, oh my gosh. I had this suggestion a few videos back and I had to try it. We've got some vinyl cutouts from my Cricut, but I know not everybody has access to a Cricut, so we've also got some Google images, which of course could be enlarged any size you want. And finally, we're going to be using some candy cane inspired sprinkles. So there's kind of a whole whole range of things here that you could do for the candy theme. These sprinkles are from the incredible Helena at Resin Detra Supplies and I love them. So all six baubles are going to have a base colour of white. That was my theme, I just wanted red and white, nothing else, real simple. And all I'm going to do is fill up completely the two baubles on the right fill them right to the very top. They are going to be the two baubles that have the Cricut cutout vinyl on them. And then the other four baubles, I'm only filling halfway. They are the baubles that I am going to be putting things into, placing the Google images into and also placing the sprinkles into. So I didn't make too much resin, I just made enough to fill the two on the right and then half fill the other four. So as I mentioned at the beginning, this is not only a collaboration with Sherry and Petra and myself, but this is also a four-way collaboration with Moulds and Shapes. Now, Sherry, Petra and myself all work in collaboration with Moulds and Shapes, and they have been so generous in offering to support our collaboration by running a giveaway on each of our channels. So it will be all run by Moulds and Shapes. They will choose the winner at random from each of our comment sections. All you have to do to enter is make sure that you comment underneath my video then go and watch Petra's, go and watch Sherry's and comment underneath their videos as well. So you have to have commented underneath all three, be subscribed to all three of us and then Moulds and Shapes will pick the winner at random and each winner will get a completely different mould and so massive thank you to Moulds and Shapes, it's so exciting. So this resin I'm using is a real quick set resin, cures in about four or five hours and after about half an hour I came upstairs to put a sprinkle on. I wanted to see if it was going to if it was going to sink or if it was going to stay on top. I then decided to come back an hour later to place them on before the white resin got too hard. I was too late. <laughs> I was too late. So I've decided I need to do a thin coat of resin in order to stick these pieces down. Now with the Google images, I actually got these from Google and just changed the shape and sizes. You can either laminate these or do like I've done here and cover them in sellotape. If you put paper directly into resin, the resin will seep into the paper and it will spoil it. So I just made sure that those Google images that I printed out with my standard inkjet printer were fully covered in sellotape and also cut them out so they've got a ring around them and no resin is going to get into that paper. So here you see me. I left it too late. I left it too late to place these items in on top of the wet resin because like I said, this is a quick set resin. So this is two hours, three hours later and I'm just using my gloved hand to rub a super thin, thin layer of resin over the top of all of four of these baubles. Now, it does look messy, it really does look messy, and it felt messy at the time, but resin is self-leveling, and even a thin layer like this, it does level out. So you don't see all of those streaks, and it really does hide it well. So I just spend some time pushing them down, kind of um, making sure that they are completely and utterly in contact with the white. I didn't want any air bubbles underneath. If you get air bubbles underneath, then there is a risk to having air bubbles in your final piece. So I literally, I gave them such a thorough rub and I was really squishing them down as much as I could. But then I was picking up some of that resin with my gloved finger and rubbing it over the top of them as well, just to really be sure. I was worried that they were going to curl up at the edges. I did see some curl up at the edges, but actually 
it didn't it wasn't detrimental to the final look it, they didn't they didn't curl up basically they didn't end up protruding out of the top so it worked quite well and i think as well if you don't have access to the cricket and you really like the chunky look you'd like your whole bauble to be um, one of these then you could really do it with Google images as well you could just make them big enough to fit the entire bauble and then either laminate them or cover them in sellotape I would probably laminate them if you're doing a big one I would probably laminate them so I just cleaned the resin off my glove because you know we don't like waste and now I'm placing some sprinkles down and one did get away from me which is fine because that bauble on the left top hand corner is going to be sprinkles only so here I am just placing some of these red sprinkles in I wasn't going to but there were some gaps and I just I don't know I just thought aesthetically it would be prettier if these ones had some of the red sprinkles on as well and there was really no rhyme or reason I was just yeah eyeballing it to be honest just seeing how I felt at the time I found this really therapeutic now you will notice I have taken my glove off here the, the gloves kind of got in the way when I was putting these sprinkles on these two main ones. Now, I cleaned my tweezers, I cleaned everything, I made sure that no resin was coming into contact with my skin. So ideally, you would wear gloves when you're working with resin, but I was making sure at this point that there was no resin coming into contact with my hands. It was easier for me to put the individual sprinkles down because this part here is, believe it or not, sped up, but it was quite time consuming. I just wanted to make sure that I had really nice gaps in between these sprinkles. But how gorgeous are these sprinkles? You've got tiny little candy canes, like the actual canes. Then you've got the candy sweets. And I've got a random, a random white one there with a circle around it. <laughs> I don't even remember if I took that out. But I was like, I don't know how you got in there. But anyway, that thin coat, that thin coat of resin that I put on is working an absolute dream and they are staying put this is the best part about it they're not moving so sometimes when you put things into resin they move around and because I've only put a tiny tiny rubbed on coat of resin they are all staying exactly where I put them so this part here was quite time consuming but it was totally worth it I just carried on until they were completely full up so we're going to have two baubles that are the big round chunky swirls then we're going to have two baubles that are printed out at home anyone can do that if you've got access to a printer and you don't have access to vinyl cricket and then we've got the sprinkle option as well so I just feel like all of these baubles kind of cater to everyone and what you might or might not have at home I think most people nowadays have a printer but that might be me presuming like I shouldn't really assume that you do but if you do and you don't have a cricket I think it's an absolute ideal now here you see me adding some green dots right at the bottom of this bag I found these gorgeous green dots and even though I wanted just white and red I could not resist so yeah I found about five teeny tiny little green sprinkles so this is the only one here that has the green and that was it I just carried on until I was really happy with all of the placement and here you see a close-up of all of them these are the ones that were printed off at home sellotaped you can just work out the ring of sellotape around each one and that is it and all I have to do now is wait until the very next day to top coat and then we can you know take them all out now you will see I've zoomed right in so you can see the amount of bubbles in this resin now this is human error what I usually do is put my resin in a hot bath before I use it and also stir slowly now I did stir slowly but I didn't give my resin a hot bath and because it's very cold right now wow the bubbles were real and the reason I'm talking about this is because it had an impact on the overall finish of the pieces and I will definitely talk more about that any second now <laughs> yeah heat so the only way to really get rid of bubbles in resin is heat you can use a heat mat I don't have one yet or you can use a heat gun or you can heat up your resin before you use it or you can use a lighter or a flame you do want to be careful with silicon molds when you use a lighter but you can see I've burnt them 
I've burnt them, guys. I've burnt them. Absolutely devastated. I'll show you a close-up soon enough. Here are my vinyls. I've already put them onto the transfer tape. If you've been with me a while, you'll know it's not my favourite pastime. It's not my favourite pastime. Transferring vinyl and yeah. However, this vinyl I got a while back from HTV Ron. They actually sent me some. It is genuinely a dream to work with. I prefer it over any other vinyl that I've tried. So here you see me just transferring it on and peeling these off. And I love these. I love them. I love the big, bold, bright, chunky. I've never even thought about candy or candy canes as Christmas decor. But converted. Absolutely converted. Cannot wait to do more whether that's this year or next year, who knows, but how cute are these? Now, this spiral, this candy image was from Cricut. Um, it did have a ring around it, but I'm kind of learning, learning a bit more on how to use my Cricut so I could get rid of the ring and just cut out the spiral. How gorgeous are they? And you don't even need to top coat. That's what I love about them. So now it is time to demold all of them. And I will oh, I'll show you the burn marks. This is human error, guys. What I did was I left the resin to sit, hoping that the air bubbles would rise. And they did. I used my heat gun. And then around 10, 15 minutes later, I came back upstairs to see... They all had a few little air bubbles right in the center that had all kind of gathered for their little meeting that they do. And I ended up using my lighter just in the center, not, not anywhere near the silicon. You don't want it to go near the silicon. I just used it in the center. You see, I've burnt them. But you know what? <laughs> Honestly, don't do what I do. I do feel like I need to change my channel name to how not to do things like Claire. <laughs> But there you see another burn mark. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but they are burned, guys. So unfortunately, I won't be selling these. They will be going on my Christmas tree, though, so that's all good. What I could do now is sand them back. I could sand down the top coat and recoat them. Try and get rid of those burn marks and recoat them. But as it is right now, ugh, I'm just going to pretend they're not there. And I'm going to finish them off with some white ribbon. But also I've got this gorgeous candy cane ribbon that you might have seen in a previous video. And I'm going to link them both together so that the candy cane rope um, actually lies on top of the white ribbon. And I just think, how cute is that? Such a gorgeous finish. I love them. I absolutely love them, despite the fact that they're burnt. Hey-ho, I like to show you all of my mistakes. And help you not make those <laughs> but here they are i i love them i actually can't even see the burn marks at this point i can't see them they've disappeared i adore the results i've absolutely loved making these first time ever trying the candy theme at christmas let me know your thoughts let me know if you've made it this far i really appreciate you all and don't forget this is a collaboration with the incredible petra and sherry please leave a comment down below Go check out their videos. I will be linking their channels in my description box. Everything you need to know about this giveaway from Moulds and Shapes will be in my description box. So do check it out. And I'm excited. And yeah, good luck to anyone who enters. And if you do win, you will love their moulds. Hands down, you will love them. I've loved this. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents. As long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Like till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go and see
inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe. 